Hi, it's Jesse from Peach Manifesto, and today we are reviewing 3D uh, gel from AliExpress. So these are the kind of 3D molding gels. Uh, I've seen a lot of them, um, and I do have a comparison with these. So it is kind of like a review and comparison uh, from some professional uh, type 3D gels as well. So I did order 12. So this was the whole collection and this was from Elwing's store. I will leave a link for that below, but these are all the colors together and I will open each one and kind of give you a close up of all the colors. So starting with number one is the white and they are sealed pretty good. Um, I do open them all like this just to show you. There is a few where the foil is a little weird to get off, but for the most case, the foil is pretty um, on there really well, and they all kind of have that kind of bouncy texture. Um, and this one has like a fingerprint on it, which I think is kind of hilarious. But yeah, as you can see, they kind of have that really bouncy, moldable texture. So obviously that was black, number two, and this is number three, and this is the red. And um, it is a very like bright, like um, primary red. And then this is number four, which is the blue. And very, very nice, like, primary blue color. Um, I do like that these have the kind of more primary colors as well because it does, um, you can kind of mix anything from it, right? And now we are on number five, which is pink. And this is a really beautiful hot pink color. And then number six is also pink, but it is definitely like a very soft kind of delicate baby pink color which I think is really, really pretty. And then on to number seven, which is green. And again, this is more of like a primary green color. And I think that's going to be pretty amazing to work with. And then now we have our yellow. And again, a very like bright yellow. And it does look like there's two yellows in here, but the other one is not yellow, trust me. And so this is the purple of the collection. And again, it's just a super deep purple, which I think is gonna be just amazing to use. And then this one I thought was pretty unique. I haven't seen a lot of um, the kind of 3D gels with a brown, but I think that's kind of awesome because there is lots of times you'd want a brown um, for different colors. And this is 12, I'm kind of doing it in the wrong order. Um, the orange is the 11. So this is kind of like um, an off-white, almost like a nude skin tone color. And I'll compare it with the white in a second. So this is number 11 actually, and this is the orange. And I think this is amazing. I think this is like a beautiful like pumpkin orange. I totally wanna to do some pumpkins for Halloween with this. So that is all the colors. This is them all together, kind of side by side. Um, I think it's a really good collection. They seem to be really high quality when I was opening them up. They didn't smell or seem weird. So this is the white compared to the number 12, so one and 12. And I'm comparing them with the Egoista uh, 3D gels. So this set actually sells for $110. And these are the reds compared to each other. I would say the Egoista red is a little bit more of like a lipstick red. And then these are the two blues that come in the Egoista collection and compared to the blue that comes in the Elwings collection. And I should mention that the Elwings, um, they are $2 Canadian a jar. So it is a very good deal. And obviously the pinks don't really go, so they are completely different pinks. And I will thank my good friend Stephanie Menor of Stephanie Menor Nails for lending me these gels because I have been playing with them. And obviously the greens don't really compare either but I thought I would show you them all and uh, she was gracious enough to let me kind of do a comparison. And obviously the purples don't match either and the oranges, uh, the Egoist orange is a lot lighter than um, the Elwings orange. So I thought I would kind of do a little bit of a swatch. So I thought, like I didn't obviously didn't compare the white and black because I feel like the white and black are white and black. Like there's really not a lot of difference. 
So I thought I would do just a really simple, nothing fancy kind of bow on a nail and with the, starting with the Egoista and then going with the L-Wings and just kind of see how they compare. And honestly, I will say that like pulling out of the jar, rolling it on my hand in between my fingers, the texture, everything felt the same. Like there really did not seem to be much of a difference. Um, and they both cured really nicely. They were both easy to work with with the 3D brush. And I know I am out of frame in this one. I'm sorry, I do better on the next one. Uh, sometimes when you're working on things, you just don't even think to look and see if you are properly in frame. So I apologize for that. So I inserted that little clip of me tapping it just to kind of let you know like that's the sound it makes when it's cured and it is um, just like that little click sound like a lot of times you'll hear it with like acrylic nails you can hear that little tap tap when it's cured uh, but yeah they cured really nicely um, I pressed on them there was no soft spots yeah they cured fully and nicely and so this is the Elvings one and like I said there really didn't seem to be much of a difference the only difference I could really find when I finished um, the nail was that the L wings seemed to have a little bit more of a shine to it after it was cured, as opposed to the Egoista one, which seemed a little bit more matte. But it was very, very subtle and not a huge difference at all. So I would say, like formula wise, they do seem very comparable. And I will insert a clip of me tapping the both of them when they're done, so you can hear they even sound the same when they're cured. And they are stuck on there really well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye bye.